are we going to the worst eatery at Animal Kingdom? Princess the Bear here. We're at Animal Kingdom today because it's time to return to Pizza Fari. I've been putting this off for so we long. We have literally used every excuse you can possibly think of. We've come to this park probably four or five times and made an excuse in front of Pizza Fari not to eat Pizza Fari. Yep. That's your number one choice of food infotainment. If we only ate food that we liked, what channel? What kind of channel will this be? So remember, she's vegan. I'm not. Let's go be disappointed. Be sure to have a wild time. You heard the girl. dressing with a side salad. Why not start every meal with a little side salad? Of course the croutons are not vegan so you can just ask for it without the croutons and they'll let you have this Italian dressing as well that is vegan. I don't want to put a lot. There's a lot in this package. About half of it. A big bite, but that could be to my mistake. Cheers. It's just a bowl of greens, which is different from the big salad that you can get here. Now we have had that salad before. There'll be a link for that somewhere around here. Last time when pizza bar menu changed. And this salad is just your plain salad. There's really nothing to it. The only thing that makes it flavorful is the dressing. So it's nice because the dressing is nice and not because the salad is nice. The, the leaves are fresh, freshly cut. They don't feel, it tastes wilted, it's sitting for a long time, so at least there's that. I would give it a three out of five salads. It barely tosses my salad, and I definitely wouldn't be telling anybody about this salad tossing. Pizza Far is mainly a pizza restaurant. It's in the name. Y'all got no tomatoes back there? Nothing? It's just lettuce and let us let us be for real right now okay you totally have vegan cheese i know you got tomatoes back there somewhere to hand somebody a bowl of lettuce and be like here's your side salad is almost insulting i don't really know what they can do to fix pizza far pizza far just kind of is it's like the the pizza rizzo of animal kingdom but works i guess it feeds people i guess it's what it's here for Basic as it is, at least it's fresh. Tangy dressing, crunchy lettuce, minimal calories. You get your side salad on, I guess. Two and a half out of five claws. It's an inoffensive, unremarkable salad. So here I am making fun of the princess's house, and I pull my salad over, and it's the exact same thing, just with croutons non-vegan crouton so i'm assuming there's some level of dairy in it and they default you to a caesar dressing if you don't want the caesar dressing say that you are vegetarian uh i'm sure you could ask for the italian i'm not really sure that they care all that much uh the caesar dressing does have anchovies in it so i'm not a huge caesar dressing person but every once in a while i'll get in the mood and my lettuce is just like it's more slap than cut. How about that? Mm -hmm. Let me eat one crouton. Let me judge it unfairly. Standard crouton. Honestly, I probably would like it better with the Italian dressing. It's okay, but again, it's a side salad. What are we expecting here? Two and a half out of five claws. This is your beautiful secret menu item. You can always ask for a vegan pizza. Though there is the sausage and peppers plus the salad. We do have a review of those. Go check that out if you haven't already. This is still available as an off menu item. You can't order it on the app, but you can order it at the register. So, it's been a while since we've had one of these pizza fari pizzas, and I mean, the cheese pull is pretty on point, so let's see how it is. It's actually not terrible. I don't know if it was better than Via. I would say it's maybe like right underneath Via, so definitely underneath like Abercadab, well not Abercadabar, but to Tutto Italia, or what am I saying, Tutoria Alferno. 
I think the bread is kind of like, I don't know, it's a little too flat for me, but the cheese is beautiful. I would give it a three out of five pizzas, but I do want to try it with red pepper. So let me just sprinkle a little bit of red pepper on here. Hopefully you can see that. Cheers. It doesn't really add much or subtract much. It's just there. It's an overall okay pizza. It doesn't change the rating. It's still a three out of five pizzas. It's, it's decent. It's, it wouldn't... I still feel like this is one of, I still feel like this is the worst restaurant in Animal Kingdom. It is competing with Restaurantosaurus, which is also pretty bad, but we know that one's going to be changing soon, so this one's going to stay the worst. It's pizza time. Animal Kingdom. Nice melty vegan cheese. Looks like a very thin crust. Hard outer crust. I'm glad that I came and not expected much. You don't expect a ton, and I'm getting a ton out of it either. Uh, it tastes like cheese on cardboard. Like, the Tostino's pizzas, like the ones you get to like your local grocer, get a microwave in like less than five minutes, have better crust than this. But let's see if the red pepper helps. I'm not like a red pepper on pizza person. Will I take red pepper? Yes. Do I need red pepper on pizza? No, but I'm going once in a while. I'll get in the mood. Wow. Now it's a spicy cardboard. It is pizza, technically. Is it great pizza? No. But it's pizza far. I don't expect great pizza here. If you're looking for not burgers and fries, I guess this is the place to come. The question is, is your options burgers and fries and cardboard and cheese, or burgers and fries, or what's technically supposed to be a pizza? It's okay. Uh, I would not recommend anybody come here for this. If you're a vegan in Animal Kingdom, there are far better options. But if you absolutely have to have pizza, it is technically here. I'll give it two out of five plus. Chicken Parmesan sandwich. This is their featured item that they have. I don't understand why it's featured, but it is featured. Top of the mobile app, top of the menu board. Uh, it's a funny backstory, chicken parm, me and the princess, is that in the very beginning when we first met, she would ask what I wanted for dinner, and I would say chicken parm. Not because I actually wanted chicken parm, I actually don't have any love or hate for chicken parm in shape or form, but I just figured that chicken parm was the easy thing to make last minute, not realizing all the steps that it takes to go in to eat chicken parm, so like eating chicken parm in the parks is sort of like my penance for putting her through all that frustration because I don't really care about chicken parm. It's breaded chicken with marinara sauce and some cheese melted on top. Now uh, this is, there's technically cheese melted. There's a little bit of marinara on there. Oh, uh, no, I say a little bit, I mean a little bit on a toasted ciabatta bread. And it is in fact toasted. Let's see if it deserves the feature that it got. It's a bit bready. I would say the bread to chicken ratio is like three to one. And because there's not a lot of marinara sauce on it, it's hard, which is a good bread. Like it's nice and toasted, it's soft, but it's dry in the chew because you have bread on the chicken as well. So it's like bread, bread, chicken. And then like a smear of marinara and then the cheese. It works, it's a sandwich. You pick it with the salad, it's a nice snack. Uh, I would probably eat this over the pizza, but this is also not anything mind blowing. But again, rain in expectations. This is pizza far. Uh, honestly, the bread is so nice. I'd honestly just take like a square pizza on the ciabatta rather than the crust that they use in this place for the vegan or non vegan pizza. I'll give this three out of five claws. If you're hungry, there's not usually a huge line in here. If you're gonna hurry. This is probably the place. I got a beautiful safari amber. This is an exclusive to Disney World. You can get it at Animal Kingdom and Animal Kingdom Lodge, depending on where you go. Cheers to the safari amber. If you like 
like a darker beer or you're kind of on the light side of beer, you don't like something too hoppy, this is literally like the perfect beer for you to try when you're on vacation. It is so nice, it is so smooth, it's not too like hoppy, it's not too floral, it's just balanced. So you can drink it in a restaurant or outside and be great. Feel fabulous. I give it a four out of five beers. This is the beer. We don't want to scare you. Of course we got adult beverages. It wouldn't be a Princess and Mary video if we didn't get some sort of alcohol beverage. It's just after the food. A little experiment. We'll see how it pans out. But there's nothing like starting your day at Animal Kingdom with a cold glass. Be it plastic of Safari Amber. It's a Safari in a cup. No, this is not sponsored. I'm just a shill. Tastes like Animal Kingdom. Animal Kingdom, Animal Kingdom Lodge. This beer, the first sip, always brings you back to all the memories we've had in this park. Spent a lot of time in this park. This is the Bay Park. This is the favorite park. Those of you that only spent half the day in this park, I feel sorry for you, but I'm glad that you leave after two, so the lines are short. I would give this 3.75 out of 5. All of us that are of drinking age, have that one spirit you just don't hang out with anymore. For me, it's Parrot Bay coconut rum. I despise coconut rum. They're all gross. Parrot Bay is especially offensive. Uh, but I decided because this is, again, their featured drink, the Rum Blue Lagoon. You have Parrot Bay coconut rum, blue carousel, and for some reason your lagoon has worms in it. We have a gummy worm here. There's another one sucking in the bottom. I guess it's a treat for all your adventure. Uh, but I took this to be god awful. Uh, cheers to all you wannabe pirates. Now, with the rum, they do mix in a Minute Maid lemonade, which is like the worst lemonades. I was worried how the coconut and lemonade were gonna clash. But honestly, it drinks like a watered-down lemonade. I don't like this one did sit a little bit. Uh, I may change my rating later, but I'm actually not offense by this drink. I expected to absolutely hate it. I was going to suffer through it because we commit to our mistakes. However, it's not initially as bad as I was expecting it to be. So I'm going to give it two and a half out of five claws. I would always suggest if you're going to come to Pizza Fari, you to drink somewhere else first then come here. One thing we can never say is that Pizza Fari wasn't an adventure. It was a fari of things. She had a pun. Heard the dad puns. Uh, Pizza Fari is still at the bottom tier, but of course we have to try it just to reconfirm what everybody already knows. If you have any other option, don't come eat here. Yeah, I agree. Unless you have, you know, the picky kid that only wants pizza or chicky tendies. That's a, this is a great place for the, the picky eaters. But even the picky eaters have other places they can go to, like Flame Tree, Restaurant Restaurantosaurus, even Satuli. I think with the cheeseburger pods, you could you could satisfy a picky eater with that. Most I don't definitely. think you need Pizza Fire unless you really want pizza. It's time for this place to change. I don't know what you guys think in the comments below. If there's anything else you can just do, that will always be the place to find us. Hit that notification bell for see other videos like this. And we have new videos five days a week, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday. We'll see you soon. Be sure to subscribe and like this video. And if you don't comment, Bear might eat himself into the pizza fari and become his own fari. Bear fari? I like how I'm going to be hunted right now. We're but you heard the girl. Living with the land.